so as you can see we have the person class but right now we cannot do anything with this class okay so why is that because here this is quite useless unless we make it useful okay so what we need to do is we need to create the person object with its information and then uh, utilize its information for further data processing or for whatever reason why we want to use this one okay so um, let's create an object of this person class so as you have already uh, understood that Java is an object-oriented programming lang language that means that everything um, associates in Java is based on the object okay so object is the um, uh, what, what would I say uh, center of focus in object-oriented programming languages not only in Java but other object-oriented programming language so let's create a main class here which is going to be executable class so again right click on your project node go to new and then create class and name the class as main you can name it whatever you like and now I'm going to um, declare the main function so it's going to be public static void main so here is going to be arguments of type string and string array in fact and then so now what I would like to do I would like to create a new instance of person class person so how how can we do that this way actually you have created a new type of data okay person is a new type of data you have created so that's the beauty of object-oriented programming language it's so easy to create a data type of your own okay so which gives uh, why it's so important so nice because reusability how I'm going to show you so create one object of person let's say person one person 0 1 and then declare new person and then provide parameters person name so let's uh, name it person 1 and give it address street okay so actually we have created a new object of type person okay so now copy this and paste it a couple more times so we have let's say person 2 we have person 3 so also change these variable names as well so what happens is now let's say if you want to now you want to print the information of person one how, how would you do that so let's say string name is equal to person zero one right now this object contains all the information of person class okay so let's say do this person one gate name okay and string address person one dot get address okay so now you want to print this one so in order to print it type in system dot out dot print ln so person name yeah. um, person 
address. So if you execute this code, what you get is that you get the person name of person one and person address of person one. So you are actually the implementation is working fine. So now what if you want to um, assign the okay so let's talk about this one little later so now let's say if you want to print the uh, name of the person 2 and street address of person 2 just change it here so and then execute it so you get this name and address of person 2 and also similarly you can also uh, get the information of person 3 and then you can definitely can execute the information of person 3 okay what happens now we can actually manipulate you can manipulate this information in so many different ways I mean you can uh, use it for your uh, further data processing so uh, so basically what happens is now it keeps the this this uh, person type uh, or person class actually allows you to or this object uh, person object actually allows you to reuse that code okay you do not have to uh, write person create person one class person two class person three class instead we have created one person in class and then create create can create uh, its object as many times as we want with the data we assign it so the, uh, this this object oriented program actually allows us to reuse the code okay so many different times so this is basically it in the next video we go with some further information about the keywords and data types so thank you so much for watching see you